dear student friends today we will see the topic ziegler natta catalysis one of the great discoveries of organometallic chemistry was the catalyst to polymerization of alkenes at atmospheric pressure and ambient temperature actually vast quantities of polyethylene and polypropylene are prepared by ziegler natta catalysis we might have heard about these two scientists ziegler and natta they ziegler of the max planck institute in germany and g natta of the university in milan italy they received the nobel prize in chemistry in 1963 and the importance of their work in stimulating interest in organometallic chemistry should not be underestimated therefore they received the nobel prize for this work what is the advantage of this ziegler natta catalysis actually in ordinary polymerization of ethylene we require high temperature and high pressure expensive reaction conditions the product was less crystalline and had low melting point these this advantages were rectified by ziegler natta catalysis <coughs> definition of this ziegler natta catalysis ziegler natta catalyst or chemical compounds remarkable but for the ability to effect the polymerization of olefins that is hydrocarbons containing a carbon carbon double bond to polymers of high molecular weights and highly ordered what you say the stereo regular structures then preparation of this we'll see the preparation of ziegler natta catalyst the ziegler natta catalyst which is heterogeneous is made by treating titanium tetrachloride tacl4 with triethyl aluminum to form a fibrous material that is partially alkylated here diethyl aluminum chloride acts as a co-catalyst the transition metal titanium does not have a filled coordination sphere and acts as a lewis acid accepting this ethylene or propylene as another ligand the triethyl aluminum reduces the titanium tetrachloride to fibrous form of titanium trichloride and replaces some of the surface chlorine atoms with ethyl groups this is the step involved in the preparation of the ziegler natta catalyst 
when you come to the mechanism or the reaction of Ziegler Nutta catalysis, the very first step is clearly the alkylation of the transition metal compound with a soluble group 1, 2, 3 metal alkyl thereby producing the catalytically active transition metal alkyl. Actually polymerization usually takes place by the insertion of monomers while the transition metal ions are attached to the end of the growing chain. The incoming monomers are simultaneously coordinated at vacant sites and there is a formation of long polymer chain. Therefore, let us recall the first step. The very first step is clearly the alkylation of the transition metal compound with the soluble group 1, 2, 3 metal alkyl thereby producing catalytically active transition metal alkyl. If the alkylated metal halide has an empty coordination site available, then olefin can bind to the metal in the usual manner. In the second step, it is suggested that the alkyl group migrates to the olefin. The alkyl group migrates to the olefin, thereby forming a new metal alkyl that is the growing polymer chain. A coordination site is therefore again vacated on the metal and the olefin binding may again acquire. Therefore the process continues, the polymerization process continues by successive alkyl migration to the olefin and the olefin occupation of the vacated sites or in other words in this process the ziegler nutta catalysis the first step is the interposition of the olefin molecule between titanium atom and the ethyl group the titanium atom is octahedral being coordinated to four chlorine atoms and one ethyl group. The sixth position being available for the incoming olefin. The olefin forms a sigma bond to the metal using its filled pi orbital. <coughs> Therefore, the olefin forms a sigma bond to the metal using its filled pi orbital. In the concentrated step, the ethyl groups break its bond to the metal and forms a bond to one of the olefin carbon atom as the other olefin carbon atom becomes attached to the metal therefore the process continues and it is shown in the screen in short we can say 
first the interposition of the olefin between titanium and ethyl group we know titanium atom is octahedral the four positions are coordinated by four chlorine atoms the fifth one by the ethyl group and the sixth position is empty for the incoming olefin the olefin forms a sigma bond to the metal using his filled pi orbital then the the third step when you come to the third step that is that polymerization process may be interrupted by beta elimination of a metal hydride or by hydrolysis let us recall the first step is clearly the alkylation of the transition metal compound with the soluble group 1 to 3 metal alkyl thereby producing the catalytically active transition metal alkyl in the second step the alkyl group migrates to the olefin thereby forming a new metal alkyl that is the growing polymer chain the polymerization process may be interrupted may be interrupted by a beta elimination of a metal hydride or by hydrolysis regarding the applications of this ziegler nata catalyst it is employed in the production of high density polyethylene and it is used in the production of polybutylene and crystalline polypropylene carbon nanotubes nano composites regarding the limitations of this ziegler nata catalyst it does not work for certain monomers polyvinyl chloride cannot be generated through this ziegler nata catalyst acrylates are also not produced by this ziegler nata catalysis therefore we have seen what is ziegler nata catalyst and this ziegler and nata the two scientists they received the nobel prize for this work in 1963 and they vast quantities of polyethylene and polypropylene are produced by using this ziegler nata catalysis thank you